guys, the first cheers <laughs> at the Mabuhay pool bar. Yes. yes. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabuhay squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Happy Holy Weekend. For those of you who are watching, for those of you who celebrate it, we're expecting our cousins and oh, some of them have arrived. Welcome to another vlog, Mabuhay Squad. Who is it? Who is it? It's Ate Raquel and Nicole and Chloe. Oh, and Pepper. His twin brother and her like biological brother. And oh my gosh, it's Bernie. <laughs> Guys, Raquel got a new puppy. Bernie, as in burnt, because it's like black. <laughs> you remember Pepe? You remember Pepe? It's Pepe. So guys, um, Raquel and her kids, Edmark and Nika, they're coming here and they're spending uh, the weekend here. Yay! This is gonna be so fun. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> nice to see you again too. This is Nicole. That's Chloe down there. You ran away, Sahara. Oh, Bernie is so cute. <laughs> Sykes, that's your brother. That's your brother. That's your brother. You remember Pepper. Oh. The quarrel, the brotherly quarrel. Come, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Oh my gosh, he doesn't look real. Hi, this is Isa. Hi, hi, Isai. Oh, Bernie, nice to meet you. You're so cute. What breed is he? Poodle. Poodle? Yeah, poodle. Teacup? Yeah, toy or teacup poodle. Oh, so cute. We expected oh. him to be like bigger, but we don't know. He's so tiny. <laughs> Oh. Hi, cuz. Raquel. Ate Raquel. Welcome back. Oh my god. Yeah, that... that's Cypher. Oh my, my mom god, shaved Cypher. his hair, so he has all these spots now. Oh my god, Cypher, you look so social. Social? Yes. <laughs> With the spots? Yes. You look so social now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Say, say, Ate Raquel, is that an insult? I never looked so shell before. <laughs> hey, Bernie, I'm your Tito Mikey, yes. Hey, Bernie, that's Cypher. That's Cypher. Yeah. Hey, Pepper, I missed you. Welcome back. Yes, we missed you. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Cypher's scared. We'll let them establish the pecking order. Guys, Bernie doesn't look real. <laughs> He's so cute. Bernie, come. Welcome to the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. <laughs> He's just like a, a dark shadow. <laughs> the cutest ever. That's Bernie. <laughs> And I think he, he's starting to like get to know the new pack. Cypher. Cypher is of course taking alpha role, letting him know who's boss. Bernie's so adorable. Cypher. Guys, we got some gifts here from Vida C. Yay. Can't wait to open this. Is this a new flavor cause? Uh, she, she runs the, la the brand here in the Philippines. And what is this? Uh, oh, Yobik. A prebiotic yogurt drink. Ooh, healthy. Sweet. Thank you, Rex. And then this here, you guys have seen this in the vlogs. This is coconut pie in Filipino called buko pie. It's from Chef P. And it's honestly the best we've tasted in the country. They were kind enough to send us a new box. Oh, we have to, yeah. For our get together. Oh, oh. Greetings, Mikey Bustos. We're super excited for you to try our premium buko pies. <gasps> Sweet. Thank you so much, Chef P. Oh, oh yeah, they have two flavors. This one is the ube buko. Guys, have some buko pie. Ube buko pie. Mmm. Here you go, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. We have so many, and then this is the original. Best served either chilled or hot. Oh, their launch of their summer special. And this says, Dear Mikey, we're delighted to have you as one of the first to get to try this new flavor. Oh, and we hope you'd love it. Vida Philippines family. Oh, sweet. Malaysian brand. Wow, guys. And it's like healthy 
fruit, drink. Oh, I love this. So cute. Mmm. And guys, it's so good. Oh, this is Sakura. Guys, if you're ever in the Philippines, you must try this. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero coloring. Mmm. How is it, cuz? Super sarap. Really? All right. It's okay? Yeah, it's very good. Mmm. Guys, let's try it. Last time, we tried the salty lychee flavor, and it was really good. I love that flavor. And my family loves that flavor when they were here. So let's try this Sakura, which is um, cherry blossoms from Japan. Can I try it while wearing this? Mmm, <laughs> mmm. You know what it tastes like? This totally tastes like popsicles. Like growing up, there was a popsicle flavor, like cream soda. Mmm, mmm. But like a tea, but but bubbly. Mmm, yum. Guys, look at the size of these mangoes. They're massive. Like th these are the mangoes, the Philippine mangoes we're used to. And then look at the size of these mangoes. I mean, massive. And they're green, so they're probably sour. Not sure if we're supposed to eat this like when it's yellow and ripe, but man, these are the biggest mangoes I've ever seen. We're showing Raquel the senior's room. Can I turn on the light? Yeah. It's cute, right? So my parents stayed. We've moved the bed back here. My parents preferred the bed back there. And installed the chandelier, the chair. Yeah, it's a whole Itokish set. And guys, I think my dogs miss sleeping here. We caught Cypher and Sahara sleeping here a few times. I think they miss my parents. Actually, I'm sure they do. Yes, you could use the sauna. It's so good. I used to use it every day, but now I do it like three or four times a week. Yeah, this is where you're staying. The Joseph room. Enjoy. There's a bathtub there. Yeah, this is new. This is all built in cabinets and cupboards. TV, that's the only thing missing, a TV here. This is new as well, no? Yeah, Bernie is so cute with Pepper. Like, the, he won't leave Pepper's side. They walk together. And yeah. Raquel, Raquel says they're boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, Sahara and uh, Bernie's getting a Oh, really? Sahara, you like Bernie? Go play, go teach him how to be a, how to be a doggy. Oh, they're totally playing. <laughs> go play, go play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All this puppy energy. Guys, RJ and Ate Elsie cooked pasta. Oh, and look, a sprig of basil from our herb garden. Yay. That's penne here. And then this one is, I think, spinach. This one's pasta. Spinach pasta. Yeah. And this. And it's a little, the sauce is like pretty sour. It's not like really it. pinot. Yeah, it's like more sour. Saif, you miss Ate Raquel. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Someone's sleeping. <laughs> Guys, this is going to be a puppy filled weekend. Yay! <laughs> Welcome! Hi! Welcome to Jurassic Park! <laughs> Hi, guys! Yeah! They just got back from Hong Kong. How was Hong Kong, guys? And happy belated birthday, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It was okay? It was okay. There's nothing much to do. Just eat and walk. And eat white chicken. Eat and walk. <laughs> <laughs> I miss these two. Hi, Miranda. Guys, this is Miranda, the mom of Cypher, Sahara, Pepper. And where's Coco? Oh, there you are! Hi, Coco! This here is Sahara's sister. Look at your white mohawk! So cute! <laughs> oh, so cute! Coco, I missed Ocean you! Ocean Ocean missed you! Yeah, this is Coco. You guys remember Coco? These two are twin sisters. Oh, go play! Go play! <laughs> hey, Coco, I missed you. You remember me? You remember me? I'm telling you guys, this is a, a puppy-filled weekend. Can you believe this tiny teacup chihuahua gave birth to all of these dogs? Hi, Marans. Yeah, I miss you. 
Mm -hmm. So not too long ago, before moving here, we were living with Edmark and Nika in Tagaytay with all these dogs. Oh, and I've missed them so much. Yes. Go play, go play. All right, guys, we have our afternoon coffees, and now we're going to take Edmark and Nika out in the yard. Raquel is sleepy, and the kids, they're taking a nap, which is good, because out here, it's like really placid, and you can like nap. The best napping environment as well. Like when we have guests here, we want them to kind of just like create their own itinerary. Like there's nothing strict. They could just do whatever they want. You know what I mean? Like the art of doing nothing is what Tita Sonia from Sonia's Garden used to call it. And that's exactly what we want people to do. Like find your own adventure. There are so many places and ambiances here in this home that uh, people could choose from and just chill. Yeah, those are the iguanas. And they eat gulai. They only eat veggies. What's their name? No name yet. No name yet? What should we name them? They're nameless. This gives us an opportunity to give you a tour as well. For those of you who are new to these vlogs. This here is the dog enclosure. Yeah, this is the bathtub of the dogs. This is for the large dogs really. In case, you know, we have guests and we want to just keep the larger dogs in an area. Also, ideally, they learn to pee and poo here in the mornings and the evenings, and then they have free roam of the yard. So yeah, this is where we bathe the dogs. This is their shaded area. See, the shaded area. So they can get out of the sun and rain if ever it rains. And then an inside part, which still needs to be painted. See? And I told RJ we could keep other creatures in here. We're showing them the variety of plants. This is the dance floor, exactly. That's what I said. In fact, Nix, we put an outlet there for the DJ. And fire pit will go in the middle as well. Yeah, guys, apparently we're gonna put water tomorrow, I think. <gasps> All right. What do you think? How many feet is the... I'm not... Oh, the deepest part, I think, is... Is it five feet? Four and a half feet. Depth, yeah. So it's like not too deep. You won't drown. <laughs> we will also have life jackets in case. And this is a pygmy date palm. Um, by the way, there will be a glass here, a glass wall. They haven't installed it yet. A lot of you guys were wondering, you can leave that open, people could fall. No, there will be a glass there. I can't wait to, for us to swim. Oh, let's have an invisible swim tonight. An invisible <laughs> swim, yes. Going to the back. This is where the CR is. No peeing in the pool. <laughs> Shower to the right. Oh. Here. Yeah. See? Shower. No, uh, sauna. We're going to put a sauna wow. here. A uh, four person sauna outdoor. More palm trees. Yeah, view is pretty cool here. Yeah. Going down these stairs. See? Oh wow, look at those boulders. I didn't see that. That's new. I wonder where that's going. Going down the stairs now. Oh man, there's the Baha'i Kubo. All the Bourgonvillea. Only for the bonga. Guys, there's a cool echo here. I never noticed. Echo! Wow. There's the secret sunken garden down there. Isn't that beautiful? We're gonna take them to the garden underneath. Oh, they're still planting. There's so much. Here's the Baha'i Kubo. I really like the view outside of here. See? Okay, so these two side doors lead out to a deck which hasn't been built yet. Side door, both sides like this. And there's a screen. And people will be able to admire the forest outside. And this is the view from the Baha'i Kubo. I think our guests will really like to stay here too. Guys, this is our strawberry plant. And I think it's starting to rot now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat it. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm. Sour. Not that sweet, but it's good. How was your nap? <laughs> Good. Guys, he doesn't look real. He looks like a giant, like, hamster. Guys, <laughs> he looks like a hamster. <laughs> Ed Mark is getting a massage. Enjoy! She's here. 
She'll do a two hour hot stone massage. Yes. Raquel is also getting a hot stone massage in her room. Ooh, I love this. Relax, it's about decompressing. Yes. Guys, the sisters are inseparable again. They're hanging out together again. So guys, we're here hanging out in the yard at the night, showing Raquel around. They're there by the Bahai Kubo. There's the retaining wall with the Bougainvillea. There's Edmark up there. <laughs> it's a humid night tonight, guys. Really humid. Guys, I can't wait to install a bed in here so that we could like legit sleep here. I'm sure it's really nice and it's all screened in. So no like bugs coming in, right? Good morning. Coco's the first one to get up. She misses Ate Elsie. You miss Ate Elsie, huh? You remember her. She's begging to be picked up. <laughs> Aww. Guys, we're hanging out out here. Good morning, Ed Mark. Good morning. Um, with his dogs. There's Miranda. Go, Miranda. Go pee. The iguanas, they eat uh, lettuce. Ooh. Well, uh, Kong Kong. It's very relaxing to watch them. Yeah, they're really chill. They just sunbathe. Let's see if the female will eat. Here you go. Awesome. Mmm. Some basil from our garden. How about you? You, sir. He's the male's a little bit nervous. Here, I'll put it right there. But the female is uh, totally chill to feed from me. Coco, Coco wants to play. you want to play with the iguanas? <laughs> <laughs> and guys, look here. This here is lotus. <gasps> this is going in the pond. Yay! Can't wait. I really want the iguanas to get used to dogs being around because right now, obviously, it makes them uneasy. But the fact that they're not dashing for their lives with Coco here is good. They can learn that just because there's a dog around doesn't mean they're going to die. All right, success. Yummy. OMG, guys. Guyabano. Yum. Also known as sour sop. <gasps> the best fruit. Mm. It's so, so good. And it looks like RJ over there is defrosting scallops and fish. And papaya. Look at the size of that papaya. Those are dates. Overnight oh. oats for breakfast. Yes. So if you're single, you can have dates. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> go, go downstairs. All your friends are there. There's Coco. Here's Coco. <laughs> She's like, good morning, sis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Pepe. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hi, Bernie. Good morning. Good morning, Bernie. <laughs> what a photo this would be. Guys, look at look at Bernie. <laughs> Bernie is so cute. He just wants to play and play and play. Go, go, go. <laughs> He's just a bouncing ball of fur. <laughs> so funny. Parang rabbit. Yeah. It's like a hairy rabbit. Guys, Bernie is so happy having all these puppies to be around. Look at him trying to get Pepper to play. <laughs> Bernie's trying to play with everybody, but everyone's like, keep away. We're not we're no longer your age. <laughs> RJ's cooking. What are you making? Scallops and vegetables. Scallops and veggies. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at those scallops. <laughs> look at that butter. Wow. Guys, yeah. RJ has been a chef. Wow. Look. This is sabao for what? The noodles? Scallops too. Oh, scallops. Mm. We got shomai dumplings, milk fish, bangos, noodles, and more dumplings. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Feast, feast. OMG guys, it's early evening now. We've all took taken a nap. How was your nap? I swear, today was napping day. It yeah. felt so good to nap. And guys, Edmark is working on a cheese board. Grazing platter. Look at that, mm. And guys, what he's cutting right now is goat cheese. It's so good. Guys, so good. Mm. It's like sour. 
cheesy. Oh wow, guys, look. Salmon. What is it? Scallops and pasta. Mmm, and capers. Yum. Yum. Guys, this is apparently truffle cheese. Truffles. Mmm. Hello, fungi. Guys, let's try the truffle cheese. Mmm. 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 So good. Guys, truffles. Mmm. You guys know what truffles are? They're like this like fungus ball thingy that grows in the ground. They use like pigs to like hunt for them in the wild and dig them up from the ground. And like they don't really last that long and they just shave some of it um, onto food and it tastes so good. Mmm. Those are black truffles. Wow, and more salmon. Yum. Mmm. I'm so lucky to have family that can cook, seriously. Let's eat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Because the pasta is awesome. Let's try it with the salmon. Guys, this pasta is five Mabuhay stars. All right, Mabuhay squad. Check out what we've, what we've set up here. So because we can't enjoy the pool bar currently with no water, um, water shall be added maybe in a couple weeks, apparently. I thought it was gonna be this weekend, but no, in a couple weeks. Uh, we've set up some citronella candles to keep the mosquitoes at bay and we've prepared from some sangria using Vida C. Guys, it tastes delicious. Well, I'll have to see your reviews after. We've also got Chef P's buco pie here and the cheese platter, the cheese board from Edmark. I'm excited. Yay. We're actually hanging out at the bar. Okay, wait, I gotta taste test this sangria because I made it and I'll feel bad if it doesn't taste good. Mmm, 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 good, yes. Okay, needs a little bit, just a tad more Vita C. Yes! Wow, it's a tower. Oh yeah. Guys, the first cheers <laughs> at the Mabuhay pool bar. Yes! yes cheers. With the imaginary water. With our, <laughs> with our imaginary pool water, that's right. And the dogs running around. All right, guys, so it's night two of partying with the cousins. Yes! And look, we just got this awesome uh, charcuterie board, grazing platter from Gourmet Treats. Oh, thank you so much. Look at the cheeses. <gasps> mm, truffle cream cheese, yum. See that? Mm, and strawberries, yay! Thank you so much, guys. If you need grazing plates, Party platters, anything like that, be sure to contact Gourmet Treats. Yes, there's their contact info. OMG, Mabuhay Squad. This is my poison of choice today. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna drink a lot. Not that age anymore. Kinda. Mm. Let's try some of this charcuterie, charcuterie board. Sorry, I don't know how to say it, guys. Um, how do you say it? Charchi Charing board. It's like a cream, truffle cream cheese spread. Mm. Ah, truffle, guys, truffles. They rule the world. Can I add some of this, this cold cuts? Mmm. Delicious. Can I add a little walnut on there? What else can I add randomly? Oh, blue butterfly pea flower. Yes, look how pretty that looks. Mmm, 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 so good. Just that little bite, so delicious. This here from Gourmet Treats, 
five Mabuhay stars. And guys, of course, we have a mare pizza here, guys. Mmm, yum, three cheese. Oh, look at that. The best pizza in the country, guys. Mmm. Good morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes. Guys, it's Easter. Yes. Happy Easter to all of you who celebrate. We woke up early, went to the gym, and now we're having breakfast. Spend time with your brother, Sipes, while he's here. Hmm? Go. <laughs> I remember when these two were so young, they were inseparable, like as litter mates. They were the only two born from uh, Miranda. They're actually both the first puppies of Miranda. And they were inseparable. And then when he had to go, do you remember that vlog when Cypher was like shaking? He was so sad and anxiety and depressed that his brother had to go. Go play with Pepper, go. <laughs> You're so cute, Peps. You're so cute. Yeah, you guys are brothers. You guys remember each other, huh? Go play, go play. Guys, I love living with dogs. You're so cute. You're so cute, Zyke. So cute. Mm. Mm. Go play with your brother, go. Go play with Pepe. Oh my. You, ma'am, are getting very fat. You are definitely prego. Look at the dogs going crazy. You're definitely pregnant. Yup. See that, guys? Oh boy. What to do? I don't know if we can handle more cats in this area. What's up Mabuhai Squad? How are you doing? I hope you guys are having a happy Easter um, and hope you guys had a great and a meaningful weekend. Um, as for Raquel and the girls, they left, um, headed back to Manila. Ed, Mark and Nika are heading back to um, Manila tomorrow. And yeah, it was such a fun weekend. Chill, not crazy. Didn't get like drunk and wasted, which is um, what we used to do like in yesteryears. Just chill, you know what I mean? Relax, unwind, um, introspect, meditate. Um, in terms of this pool, guys, um, I learned that we're not gonna put water in it for the next couple of weeks because next week we are flying to um, Vietnam. Yes, Mabuhai squad. Um, We'll take you guys to Vietnam. We're going to Hanoi. RJ and I have been to Ho Chi Minh uh, before, back in 2015. But the same group, Raquel, Edmark, Nika, and our two friends, China and Gino, who you guys have yet to meet. Um, we're gonna have like a group vacation in Hanoi, Vietnam. So that's coming up next weekend or next week. I'm really excited about that. Um, RJ says he really needs the break because I mean, this entire home since we moved in, all of this yard work is really the efforts of RJ's daily um, patience and well work with the various teams that are working on our yard, our pool, Ate June and the landscaping, right? So he says he needs the vacation. Um, and I can't wait, guys. Have any of you guys been to Vietnam and Hanoi? Guys, Vietnam has such good food. Mm. We're gonna eat a lot. We'll be spending three days there, so that should be fun. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, this pool won't be filled in, um, until we get back. I mean, we can fill it now, but we need to clean the pool. Like, there's a bunch of like stuff from the tree. See? It needs to be cleaned, and then we'll add water, and that will take several days. It's not like it'll take one day to fill this entire pool with water. And we want to be here for the entire process in case something goes wrong. Um, so it'll definitely have to be when we come back from Vietnam. For those of you asking, when is the pool going to be done? Yeah, it'll have to be when we come back. So a couple weeks from now, I guess. Also, something to expect in the vlogs coming up. Um, this month, our good friend Carson Allen is uh, flying here um, and spending a few days here at the farm from Korea. Carson Allen is an actress from Korea and she's appeared in our vlogs, but I think on our main channel, back when we were vlogging on our main channel. Um, so I'm excited about that. You guys will meet her, yay. And then in May, my high school buddy, uh, Byron is coming. So a lot of fun and exciting things 
we're gonna really try to finish this pool business uh, so our guests have, you know, something fun to do when they're here, other than lounging and eating and sleeping. Hey, Brittany and Rizal. Guys, these dogs are going crazy, non-stop playing. <laughs> it's their time to run around the yard now. Go, go, go. <laughs> I love watching them play. Ew, Rizal, don't drink that. No, ew. <laughs> dogs, sun setting now, beautiful. There's a nice breeze blowing through the property. It's so, I love this time of the evening. Ooh, looks like the pink plumeria is really flourishing. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Gorgeous color. And also this flower here. Look at the red. Seriously, have you ever seen a flower so red? It's really doing well and it's established now. Look, many more flowers coming. Love that. Here too. At this time of the day, it looks so nice. Ooh, hello, white plumeria. You too. Gorgeous. Just stunning. I love that the plumeria is established now. It set its roots down and it's blossoming. Guys, I just talked about how beautiful the flowers are and he wants to cut them. Why, for your tablescape? I... Wow, guys, look at the pink plumeria way down there. <gasps> That looks awesome. Guys, look at these ones. It's got like little berry type berries and like hairy flowers. Isn't that strange? Like little pom-poms. How cute. And see all of that light green foliage? That's new. This is how you know a plant that you've planted is established. Oh, it's just so healthy. You know, the soil here is all virgin soil. It like has been nourished for years and years from falling foliage and wood and um, you know stuff from the tree it's decayed and it's just filled the soil with so much nutrients so all the plants are thriving here untouched virgin soils yes Eventually though, what tends to happen is over time, over a few years, the soil starts to get leached from its nutrients, which is what happens in like, you know, regular commercial farming. So we'll eventually need to add fertilizers, um, natural ones like vermicast and like goat manure, things like that um, to, you know, enrich the soil. So these plants have good vitamins and minerals and all the nutrients they need to thrive. Look at the size of this bird's nest fern. Seriously, wow. I do want to start my own vermicast um, farm, which is gross, uh, because of all the weird creepy crawlies and creatures in this world, the one thing I have a phobia of is worms. Gross. In Canada, every time it would rain, I would not look down on the sidewalk because ugh, worms are gross. But they're so important for the ecosystem. Um, and they're like poo and urine um, after they've like in the soil like all the stuff that comes out of the worm is so good for plants it's just full of like micronutrients and nutrients for the plants and the worms eat everything like they like anything biodegradable like they'll even i remember l like scraps of food um leaves that are fallen from the tree like we every day we rake the leaves that fall from the tree like we could throw that into our vermicast, our worm farm, and you know, the worms will eat it and then poop it out and then we could get that poop and uh, feed it to our plants. Of course, we could also buy it from like a hardware store or a gardening store, but it's better to do it yourself. We're on the farm, you know what I'm saying? Like we might as well do this. Look at RJ. He's scouring the yard for leaves, twigs, flowers to stick in his tablescape like centerpieces. 
So about this fence, uh, the idea was to make it match our window frames, but I already knew this wouldn't look good. Personally, I, it's too orange for me. Like it, right? It doesn't really match. So I told RJ, let's just make it darker so it matches the color of the roofs of these two structures and the color of the roof of that structure. Um, and then that way it'll kind of blend more with the background. So it's gonna be darker, but they did paint the metal to look like wood. Isn't that amazing? It really does look like varnished wood. Um, so they'll be making that darker. And same goes for that long, long fence on the other side of the pool. Wow, that's quite the branch. Okay, I gotta see what he's working on. Let's see. I gotta see this. Let's see the centerpiece RJ's working on. Oh, wow. I have extra carnations. Oh, carnations with those leaves? That's interesting. Like that. Oh, everything is so green. It's cute. RJ also did these. See? I love these vases. It's like some Japanese type vase and you stick the clippings through holes on the top gold plate and then at the bottom is a bowl of water. Keeps it fresh. It looks kind of nice, right? Really cute. It's a nice look and this is the look, guys. This is the final look. See, see, see? All in completion. Looks like that. RJ's taking his stories. He's so proud of his work. Nice. Looks good. All right, guys. So, gonna spend the rest of the evening um, with Edmar and Nika and the dogs. Come here. Come here, Coke. Come. Come, Cokes. Mabuhay Squad, thank you for watching. Thank you. Means a lot to us. Mabuhay Squad, thank you so much for joining us um, this weekend. Had an awesome blast with all of you um, and had a blast with everybody here. Uh, as you guys know, we love to host, and a home isn't a home if you don't have people that matter in it. But Mabuhai Squad, thank you so much for being part of our journey. And if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button, as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences, and I know you guys have been doing that. Thank you so, so much. I read all of your comments, and we see all of your messages on social media of, you know, how much you guys enjoy these vlogs and again it means a lot to us that you guys are part of our journey and we'll continue to vlog and spread those positive vibes right so if you haven't yet be sure to hit the subscribe button come join our mabuhai squad we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online thank you guys love you so much see you in the next vlog bye mm.